changes today. Are they the right changes? Is it too much change? What do you think? Should not be uh, too many changes. I think uh, uh, a club and a team like uh, Real Madrid uh, should allow uh, themselves to change four or five players. I think they, uh, they can afford it, you know, and be uh, competitive enough against uh, Real Madrid, uh, probably, uh, or Real Madrid. For Alaves, three changes. Uferal, Gaisca Toquero and Edgar Mendes coming for Kiko, uh, Llorente and Romero. Uh, Teo Hernandez was a, a name that was mentioned before by Paco. Why do you like him, Guillaume? What's so special about him as a player? Why is he so key for Alaves as well? 19-year-old on loan from Atletico Madrid, goes forward, is brave, has got a lot of quality, has played even behind the striker uh, in his younger age. Uh, so he's actually a, a forward. Strong squad to compete in Champions League and to be at the top of the La Liga. That's an interesting ball. Certainly Crows into Cristiano Ronaldo territory. <laughs> he leaps over to Caro as if he's not there. Cuts inside Ronaldo and he forces a good save by Pacheco. Brilliant, he's in the mood. Very, very positive, single-minded, Sh shows great skill here, Rob. You know, opens the legs up and gets to the ball first. Defenders coming in to dive in and flex it over the top of him. Looks to the near post, there's no angle from him. He cuts out a little bit, they open up the angle. and Five La Liga games. Well, of course, they have Bayern Munich away first of all on the 12th of April. And a week later, they come to the... Stanio Bernabeu in the pick of the Champions League games. And don't forget after that, they've got the Clásico. Real Madrid entertain Barcelona. Good Here's ball. Carvajal puts it back in. Here's Benzema! He completes the set. He's now scored against every team in La Liga. Wow. That's been common 30 minutes wrong. You know. An excellent play down the right-hand side. Lovely little combination play. The cut back to the deflection, but then Karim Benzema strikes a left foot shot that flies in the back of the net. Now let's have a look at the replay. Please. Here we go. And that's the ball in now. Is there a slight offside there? He's come back maybe from an offside position. That's interesting, and it's cut back. Deflected into the path of Benzema and he strikes it in. And is that why they're putting their hands up? Because I think as he comes back, he looked just as if all was being played. Well, Ronaldo, the one they were claiming is that Cristiano Ronaldo was offside. He was in an offside position, but in the current regulations, you have to be interfering with the game. Yeah, not interfering. I'd like to see the one again. The Alaris will be quite content that they're just a goal down. At half time, it has gone pretty much according to the master plan of Manisha Pellegrino. There's Danilo, there's Gareth Bale. Oh. Well, that's the best passing movement, I think, from Real Madrid. Lovely interchange of play down the left hand side. The cutback was great. Uh, it's a shame now. It looks like Gareth Bale's taking a knock on that one. Have a look at that pass from Ronaldo. One touch, cuts it back. Well, he's got the shot off, but the tackle's coming in anyway, regardless, you can see. He's coming in to take him, and he does he catch was, him. He was caught heavily, wasn't he? he was, he's he's out. He's come in really late, right, right on the through instep, the instep just there. there. Yeah. Yeah. That would have, would have hurt, sir. The rules have changed quite a lot. Oh, I've got another days where you could have sold to keep it, Jerry. He's took it off. Camerata. Now Edgar. Bright move this from Alaves, and they've got bodies in the centre. Edgar puts everything behind it. Davison throws himself down to the floor instead of at the ball. Ivan Gomez. Theo teases in. Spare man Edgar! Oh my goodness, that's a wonderful chance. They have had a multitude of opportunities here to equalise against Real Madrid. Can't blame Davison that time. It was Edgar who should have just got it on target, surely. Unbelievable chance for Rob Harkin to get that amount of space at the far post. Coming in, hit the target, and there's two of them throwing themselves in at the far post, including Davison, but Rob, he's got to score. Edgar has to score. They'll not get a better chance than that. An impressive 15 minutes from Real Madrid. This is Romero. Flies it in there. And Casillo was off his line. Real Madrid's defending is 
so flimsy. He was a header from Manu Garcia. Yep. Well, you can see Robbie's got a free header and a looping header in on target that could have went in the net. And they've had chances now. They have had chances. It's going to be interesting to see the actual count of opportunities that Alaves have had in this game. Far exceeds Roman. Well played. Now Gareth Bale. Tony Cross. They've left it late on a number of occasions recently. Real Madrid. It was the last ten minutes they saw for El Benes. Here's Isco. Oh, oh they've done it again. Goal. What a goal. Esco brilliantly into the penalty area, and Zinedine's, Zinedine Zidane's tactics have worked a treat. They've contained, they've absorbed, and then they have stuck at the end. That is some finish from a tight angle. Lovely football again, Rob. Flowing football down the right-hand side. Esco's timing of the run. He's not gone into the box too many times in this game, but he's popped up just at the right time, got a good first touch, and then he smashes it in. Well, the keeper will be asking questions, Hardy can get beat at the near post, but it was a fabulous finish, really was. Look at this, it's a good build-up, and then overlap down the outside and the right, and he's asking for it, he said, put me in there, one touch, oh, that's a great finish, really is, you'll see it better from this angle. Oh, super goal, and a great ball from Cristiano Ronaldo coming up. The weight of the pass, the angle, everything was perfect. Little deft touch, and then bang. That's a super strike, and that is his seventh goal of the season from midfield. Very important player to Real Madrid. Well, they've done it again. They do excel at scoring late goals. <laughs> the pillars of that was telling you that they scored in the last 10 minutes against Betis. They scored in the 91st minute against Napoli, the 89th minute. What have they arranged here? The angle would favour a left footy player, yeah. surely. Bale had a, a similar opportunity first half and put it wide at the far post. It's Bale who's wound up. And oh. Bale cracks it against the bar and he's followed up by Nacho. Victory complete. 3 0. I don't think it's a fair reflection of the afternoon, but maybe a fair reflection of the confidence Zidane and the players have in themselves. That's Nacho's first legal run. He has one other goal in the cup competition, but that's his first legal. And uh, excellent. Well, Nacho took on his set as me illusion. I think he was dreaming of scoring a, a goal. Great strike from Gareth Bale. Hits the crossbar, a lot of movement on it, keepers deceived, the rebound falls kindly and Nacho is alert to pounce on the mistake. He gets it up and over the wall, I tell you what, it's a good strike. Now this is where it starts to swerve a little bit away from the goalkeeper. But it's a good it's save by the it. keeper, he holds it onto the... Yep. And the man following up was Jose Nacho Fernandez. only his second ever La Liga goal. His first league goal.